recording. All right. Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Tamer for Team Virgin Slayer, and we're going to do a deck profile of my Hopeless Dragoonity build deck, and I'm going to try to go slow for y'all. For those of you who might not know what some of the cards do, I'm going to run through all the effects first. Then, depending on how much time I have, I'll run over most of the combos you do with the deck, and the reason why it's better than just a pure Dragoonity build. All right, so let's get started with three ducks. Mandatory for the deck, Wing Beast. There's only two Wing Beasts you run in this deck. When you summon, you can special summon a Dragoonity, or a, equip a Dragoonity Dragon from the graveyard to him, and he gains 200 for every Dragoonity card on the field. Good beater. Better for Synchro Clown. Three, Dragoonity Legionnaire, the other Wing Beast. Has the same effect when it's normal summoned. Equip a Dragoonity Dragon from the graveyard to him. You'll use a different one for this, and he can pitch an equip card to blow up a monster on the field. Good combo with him, I'll show you. Dragoonity Phalanx. When he's in the graveyard, he can be equipped to a Dragoonity monster. And while he's equipped, he can be special summoned. You use this to synchro climb. This is the heart and soul of the deck. You need to run two. I personally only have one. If anyone out there has one for trade, we'll be putting trade binders up. I need another. Running at three is a little bit overkill in this build, and I'll explain why in a minute. Two, Dragoonity Aklis. You combo this with Legionnaire to pitch while it's equipped to a Dragoonity and sent to the graveyard. You can blow up a card in the field. Good combo with Legionnaire with this. I'll go over that once I'm done with all this. Here is the engine of the deck. Three Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragons. Easy to get this in the graveyard with Dragon Ravine, with Future Fusion. Super easy to get it in. And you combo with Wyvern to get it onto the field, or you can just normal summon a tuner, remove it, or a dragon. Special summon him. You, this is what replaces the Phalanx, because you can use this to pull tuners out, but I'll explain that more when I get to the combo section. Two Wyvern, some run three. I think that's a little bit overkill because it can be a dead draw if you draw into it too much. But even so, it's an 1800 beater, but you gotta waste your normal summon on it. And normal summon is what makes this deck good. You can remove him from the graveyard to special summon Darkness Metal if you don't normal summon. So you gotta decide which is more important. One Levitin, you only need one because once he's in the graveyard, he is pretty much in play. When he is normal or special summoned, you can equip a dragon to him. I'll show you the good combos you do with him. And if he's destroyed by a card effect, you get to special summon whatever dragon is equipped to him. So if you have a Stardust, they Dark Hole, he goes to the graveyard, you special summon Stardust. Great combo. I'll show you the dragon rider with him. I don't see many people run this. I don't know why. This is one of my favorite cards in the deck. Malefic Stardust Dragon. When it's on the field, your field spell cannot be destroyed, and Dragon Ravine is the toolbox of this deck. Without it, it is virtually impossible to win. You need to keep Dragon Ravine on the field, and this lets you. This helps you do it. This is the only monster that can attack when it's on the field, but it's easy to get this off the field for sink it for ten, bring out Trident, swing for game. Really good for helping you set up your big plays. Light and Darkness Dragon. I'm eventually going to take this out when I get a Dark Samorg, because with Dark Samorg in this build, people will scoop. You can get first turn Dark Samorg with pitching a wind and a dark to the graveyard, remove them both, drop some Samorg, and your opponent can't set monsters. But for right now, I do the Dragon Rider combo with this. He will never be summoned. He'll only ever be equipped to lay with him, but I'll explain that when I get to that part. Decoy Dragon, when I get another Phalanx, this is what's going to come out, but for right now, this works great. If he's selected as an attack target, special summon a level 7 or higher dragon from your graveyard, and that becomes the attack target. A lot of people don't ask the effect, they just try to run it over. When they do, special summon darkness metal. Great effect. And Morphing Jar. This is the best tech card you can run for monsters. Everyone needs to run a Morphing Jar, because you burn through your hands so fast in this format. You need a Morphing Jar. It helps you refill, helps you possibly draw into the Dragon Ravine if you're not getting it. Now for the spells, the largest chunk of the deck, three Dragon Ravines, like I said, it's the toolbox of the deck. You can discard a card to either add a level four Dragoonity, which would be your Wing Beast, or send a Dragon to the graveyard, which would be the Tuners, Darkness Metal, Wyvern, whatever fits the situation. The deck cannot run without this. You need to run three. You need to keep it on the field at all times. That is mandatory. Three terraformings, a lot of people only run two. 
they don't know what they're talking about. You need three. This is just like running three of Dragon Ravine. You need it at all times. Can't stress that enough. A Future Fusion, you use this with five headed. If you get this first turn, you are going to win the duel because you will send everything you need, probably two Darkness Metal, a Wyvern, a Phalanx, and an Aklis, and you're set up for the game. If you have that, you don't even need Dragon Ravine that much, but it helps to bring the Wing Beast, and I'll explain how to do that in just a minute. Dark Hole, Staple, destroys all monsters. Giant Trunade, Staple, Monster Born, lets you pull from the graveyard, you know, everyone runs Born. Hopefully it won't get banned this go around. 2 MST, destroy spell or trap on the field. If there's anything you could take out of the deck, if you need to put in something, like if you side deck in, you can take out the MSTs, because with Legionnaire and Aklis, you have enough power to destroy back row. You just have to do it right. You have to manipulate to get that, but it's not hard to do. I run it at two. Other people might think that might be a little much. You can take it out if you want. Pot of Avarice, send five monsters from the graveyard back to the deck. This is good for recycling your winged beasts because you only run three of each. So you are going to need to get those back in. Hope you get the, uh, the synchros back in. Great card. Book of Moon. This has become a staple in my deck. It used to be three, but it's down to one. But I still run it because this is such a versatile card. Flip any monster on the field face down. So if your monster is targeted by Mirror Force, face down. They try to bottomless it, face down. Your opponent declares an attack, face down. Most of the time you can run over their defense. I use this to get over beat sticks so easy. They hate it. Play it right. They won't be able to switch back to attack. Book Moon, great card. Two, enemy controller. Great card for stopping defense because I don't run any destruction cards in this really because Legionnaire Atlas, like I said, you can manipulate that and have as much destruction as you need. Use enemy controller to stop attacks, make them go to defense, or if they summon out a big synchro, tribute a monster, take control of their synchro. Like if it's a Stardust, remove Stardust from play, special summon Darkness Metal. Great play, great way to get over the big synchros. Run it at two, that's necessary in this build. One burial, you use this to send three remove from play monsters back to the graveyard. This is great for getting your wyverns back into play, or if you had to remove a dragon to special summon darkness metal, or to special summon Labaton, this is great for getting them back into play. If you get DD Crowed, which is my main reason for having this, is to cover your own weakness. If they DD Crow your phalanx, get it back into play. Good card. Release Restraint Wave. I don't see anyone run this, and I really don't know why. You pitch an equip spell card, which in this case will be Aklas or Phalanx, most likely Aklas, and you blow up every set spell or trap card your opponent controls. This is like having a heavy storm that doesn't hurt you. You equip Aklas, play release restraint wave, blow up Aklas, Aklas effect activates and you can destroy a monster or a face up spell or trap, and this destroys all set spell or traps. This murders Gladiator Beast, this murders E-Heroes, anything that relies on heavy back row. This will do it for you. Traps. I've never been big on traps. I run Triple Royal Decree for any meta. This stops almost anyone. You never have to worry about Mirror Force. You never have to worry about Solemn. You can almost always draw into this. I have people Solemn this all the time, which is great. They pay 4,000 life points. That's cool. I'll draw into another one really soon. I love this trap build. Three Royal Decrees and one Solemn because they will destroy Royal Decree and you have Solemn already set. They don't expect you to have a trap card because you have Royal Decree. Solemn their monster, get your engine running faster, win the duel that way. All right, now for the combos of the deck. How much time do I have? Synchros. Okay. Extra I'll do synchros. deck. Yeah. I mean, you, you have to do the whole deck. Yeah. I'll go through my extra deck. I'll do combos in a second video. All right, I've got Gishladon, completely underestimated monster, five star. He's only 2300, but he goes to 3000 if a level 3 or lower is sent to the graveyard. So if you have two monsters attack their low level monster, he becomes 3000. The reason he's so good is people underestimate him. So if they have card destruction cards, like field destruction, they won't target him. They'll target other stuff. They'll target a phase down because they fear it more. Good for swinging away. I've got a TG Hyper Librarian on the way. It should be here hopefully sometime in the next few weeks. That's another good because you need as many 5 stars as you can get. My extra deck is lacking because I don't have the level of virginity needed to get it. TJ Hyper Librarian is a 5 star you need. If you have a Cataster, run a Cataster. Definitely great card. 
for the six stars, Vadriana. I only have one. If anyone out there wants to trade, you know, comment, tell me what you have. I need two of them. You definitely need to run three in this. I only have one. That's Pot of Avarice helps recycle it. He has the same effect as the Wing Beast, where you can equip a Dragoonity Dragon to him, and that's how you synchro climb. You can go straight from having a Ducks to having an 8 star. You can get Stardust out so easy with this card. He has a second effect that you can combo with Acolyst to make him 3800 beater, which can get over almost any monster. Just an all around great 6 star. If you have a Brionic, of course, run Brionic. I've got one of those coming too. Gabolg, gay name, great card though. Same effect as him. You can equip a card to. No, you don't get to equip them. If he is attacked, or attacks. You can remove from play a wing beast from the graveyard and his attack gains that. So you have ducks in the graveyard, his effect, he's at 2000, someone attacks, remove ducks, he becomes 3500, people forget that. Great for getting over monsters, then you use that burial to get whatever wing beast back into play. Seven stars, staple, black rose, nuke the field if it comes down to it. You have another way to nuke the field to go over that in the combos video. Great ancient fairy, People don't run Ancient Fairy that much, but you need to run Ancient Fairy in this deck. If you Special Summon it, you'll probably have something bigger than him. So Special Summon him in defense. 3,000 defense is a great wall. If you're fighting Necro Valley or anything that requires Spellcast or anything that requires Field Spell, pop theirs, get 1,000 life points, get your Field Spell. Or you can just cycle through yours and gain life points if you need it. This, in combo with Malefic, protects your field spell in any way possible. They can't get rid of it. If they get rid of it, you pop theirs, get another one. Works that way. Uh, Trident. I still have yet to really bring him out. He's just a cool looking card and I needed a slot to fill until I get the actual cards I need. So, don't worry about him because most likely if you're watching this, you have a better extra deck than me. Archfiend, I run him to get over Cadaster more than anything else because getting a, I can spam an 8 star with this deck almost every turn. It's amazing, so he's good for getting over walls. 3 Stardust is almost mandatory for this deck. A lot of people only run 2. If you run Malefic, when you uh, special summon Malefic, you have to remove a Stardust from play, which doesn't hurt that bad. If you run 3, you can Synchro Climb. If you get 2 Stardusts on the field, that is a great defense. People don't do it for whatever reason, but if you get two starters, that is mega negate power. Colossal Fighter, you know, staple. Five-headed, you use this with uh, Future Fusion. People will almost always destroy it before it comes out, but if it comes out, hey, that's a 5,000 beater, more power to you. Effect is unnecessary. He can't be destroyed by anything, but I think Dark, so... Good card. Almost never comes out. Scrap Dragon. You need as many 8 stars in this extra deck as you can get. And then, behold, the ultimate rare Trident Dragon. Compliments of Gladiator on team. Gotta give a little prop to you. Trident Dragon, 10 star. It sounds like it's hard to get because it has to be a Dragon Tuner and a Dragon Non-Tuner. In this deck, that is easy. You summon Stardust or Malefic, anything like that. Darkness Metal's Effect. Bring out a 2 star tuner or you can just... uh. Synchro Climb with Phalanx, bring out Trident, destroy two cards on the field, which most cases will be set cards or a useless monster that's been sitting there. Swing three times, he's a 3,000 beater, he becomes a 9,000 beater, you swing for a game with Trident, that's an OTK. I've done it many times and it pisses people off because they do not see it coming. Alright, that's the build of the deck, I think it's 41 cards, 19 monsters, usually Dragoonies have a lower count than that, but I find it works far better than pure Dragoonity. And in the next video, I'll explain the combos. This is Tamer, signing out. Alright, subscribe. Later.